Hey guys, it's Fisal here and one of the more requested videos from the Huawei Y7 Prime unboxing was some sort of gaming performance test and I hope this video answers some of the questions you might have. So welcome to the ultimate gaming test of the Huawei Y7 Prime 2019. The Huawei Y7 Prime 2019 in summary comes with a Snapdragon 450 chipset, an Adreno 506 GPU, 3 gigs of RAM and it's an Android 8.1 device. For this test, I have the phone at 100% fully charged and I'll have a 20 minute gaming session of PUBG, PES 2019 and Asphalt 9 at intervals. I'll use my trusty heat gun to see how it holds up with the heat and if you've been considering the Y7 Prime for a while now, you wanted to know how it performs, well look no further as I found some interesting results in this video. My aim with this video is just to give you an overall perspective in just a few hours of me testing summarized for just a few minutes of your time to see how it holds up generally. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video video. Without further ado, let's get to the video. As you can see, before this test, the phone is at 31 degrees at the top of the screen and it's also around 31 degrees at the bottom of the screen. At the back, we've got almost similar numbers, roughly 31 degrees for both as well. There's also a stopwatch here so you see how far I've gone with the gaming and as I said, the gaming session runs for 20 minutes. Since we're playing 3 games, that's 1 hour of gameplay which I think is quite okay for this test, it's quite moderate for this test so let's see how this goes. First off, we have PUBG Mobile, I've cleared the cache for this gameplay and PUBG is set by default to the lowest graphic settings out of three modes because it's the best that the phone can handle. Remember this is a 720p display so um, the best we can handle is the lowest setting and as far as temperature everything is quite cool here and as I said we'll see how it holds up afterwards. PUBG gameplay is definitely okay with the Y7 Prime. I did notice some lag a little bit but I only noticed it twice and I didn't notice anything afterwards. One quick thing I also noticed about the Y7 Prime 2019 is that because the speaker is at the bottom, we've got just one speaker at the bottom, you definitely block the speaker while playing games or watching videos. So you should definitely use headphones. I would recommend wireless headphones to be specific because they will just let you experience the games better since a wired headphone would definitely just track your hands because it's going to stick out. I use headphones for the gameplay for some time and I found out that I actually got richer sounds here than on the actual speaker itself. However, you may get some lag from the audio which doesn't correlate with the action. But again, that depends on the kind of headphones you use. After a little over 20 minutes of PUBG, we see that the battery is just 93%. So it's safe to say that 23 minutes of PUBG would just take 7% of your battery life. But then again, this depends on the graphics of your device. This is the Huawei Y7 Prime, it's 720p and this is what we get. In the heat department, however, PUBG gets this device from 31 degrees to 36.1 degrees at the top of the screen and 34.8 degrees at the bottom of the screen. At the back, it also moves from 31 degrees to 36.3 degrees at the top and 34.2 degrees at the bottom of the back. Next up, we've got Alpha 9 and before we go ahead, I'll clear the cache again and then we'll jump right in. During my gameplay, I also ran into similar problems with covering the speaker as I did earlier. At some point, I thought the sound had gone off on me only to remove my hand and hear the sound again. Gameplay was definitely okay as well, not the highest in terms of graphics as you'd expect but I didn't notice any lag at all during my gameplay of Asphalt 9. It was snappy and fun while experiencing it and that's pretty much it. After 20 minutes of playing Asphalt, I played 6 races in total and here is how it held up. Battery life on the Y7 Prime moved from 93% to 85% which is about an 8% loss. Remember we lost 7% from PUBG whereas here we're losing 8%. As far as heat again, Y7 Prime jumped from 36.3 degrees to 37.6 degrees at the top of the screen and from 34 degrees to a whopping 39 degrees at the bottom of the screen. At the back surprisingly, the phone stays almost the same at 36.2 degrees up and 34.2 degrees down. I think for the front it's most likely due to the hand resting on the screen a lot because of the nitros I'm applying during the gameplay. The last game of the bunch was PES 2019 and after clearing the cache, the things I faced during gameplay was pretty much the same in terms of what I had to deal with with the previous games. PES let me select the highest graphics surprisingly and the graphics even still looked quite blocky. Because of the greens on the display, the camera was able to see a lot of pixels on the screen since it's just 720p. Playing PES on the phone was only enjoyable for a while, I felt it would have been better if there was someone to play it with. After 20 minutes of gameplay, I played 2 matches and here is how it held up. 
Temperature went from 37.6 degrees at the top part of the display to 38.3 degrees and it went significantly down from 39 degrees to 36.6 degrees at the bottom of the display. For pairs, I didn't hold on to the screen on like asphalt and I just did a few taps here and there and some presses here and there. The back still stays pretty much in the 36 mark at 36.6 degrees up by 0.4 degrees and also similar to the lower back after asphalt at about 34 degrees. The thing however is that despite all these degree numbers I'm giving you, the device only felt slightly warm, just similar to the body temperature under serious stress but that's about it. The battery life after pairs dipped more by 11%, from 85% at asphalt to 74% and I think this is mostly attributable to the high graphic settings from the outset. That's it for this video guys, please let me know what your thoughts are about this gameplay test video in the comments. Um, do you want me to make more or what do you think about this video in general? Let me know in the comment section below, I'll be happy to hear from you guys. I'll also be there chatting as well. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video or if you found it useful. Also please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.